I often get asked this question, so I'm going to think I'll answer it in a video. Um, some folks ask me, you know, your, your profile looks a little bit different than mine. Things are kind of listed in a different order. How do you do that? So it's really easy. Let me show you some of the things that you can do. First of all, make sure that you are in Edit Profile and make sure that you use either Safari, Chrome, or Mozilla. This sometimes, and I have no idea why, doesn't work on some of the old Internet Explorer browsers. So just make sure you're using either Chrome, Mozilla, Safari, being, you know, basically anything other than Internet Explorer. <laughs> so what you're going to do, once you are in Edit Profile, you can scroll into your profile and notice that when I move my cursor around, when it lands on a topic heading, it goes, uh, the bar turns blue and my, my cursor goes from just a, a regular arrow to kind of a drag and drop. And that's exactly what I have done. I have taken sections of my profile and just dragged and dropped them. Now, for instance, the new uh, user interface, a lot of times people don't even know to click on this edit contact info. So I went into my personal information, which is usually found at the very bottom of your profile, and added my phone number, my email address, not my real address, and my IM, my instant messaging or my Skype address. Added that personal information and then pulled it right up into my profile. So when you view my profile, it's kind of like the old days where there is your contact info right there. So that's one of the things I've done is I've pulled that personal information right up high. Also, you can move other sections. Um, I like having my summary section up here, but I've also gone down to the bottom of my profile where it's contact your name for. And uh, you'll notice in that section I've added a lot of other useful links. Um, I just kind of ran out of room right here. So these are kind of useful links. Um, my, my user rules for being on LinkedIn. And I have pulled that section up into my profile. Up, up a little bit higher, right under my summary. Now, after that, I pulled up publications. Um, unfortunately, within publications, I can't move them around. I'm hoping they change that because really, you know, it's probably more important that my actual book show up first. Go figure. Uh, and then I've got my skills and expertise. Again, you can move that up or down depending on how how you want to be seen. Um, We'll, we'll do a talk on skills and expertise later, uh, this, these new endorsed skills and expertise. <laughs> okay, um, then I've pulled my recommendations up. Now you'll notice I can move the entire recommendations section or I can just change certain recommendations. So, you know, uh, individuals that you maybe want their recommendations to show up first within a particular job, you can, you can move those around as well should you want to do that. So you can either move the entire section or recommendations within a particular job title. Unfortunately, again, you can't move the job titles around. Speaking of jobs, a lot of people have businesses and they do not want them in chronological order. Um, and I'll show you why. So a lot of times in the jobs or the experience section, there we go, in the experience section, you have your real job or your real business and you've, you've been doing that longer but you might have done something more recently. Well, I want my real job to show up first. So again, all I have to move, do is move those sections around. Again, you can also move the entire experience section but if you just want to move your jobs around so that they're not necessarily in chronological order, you can do that. Of course, you can do that for your education too. What you cannot do is move old positions or past positions around. So past positions, you'll notice you don't get that option to, to move those, those around. Um, those, that only happens on current positions. But current positions you can put in whatever order you want. Same thing with education. Does not have to be in chrono chronological or alphabetical order. Your education can go in whatever section you want it to as well. Your projects, your honors and awards, your application, you know, anything, any of these header sections, you can move wherever you want to. 
So that's just a, a quick tip of how to really create a profile that works for you. Um, hope that was helpful. And remember, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business, helping you make social media work for you.